And we have our next in-studio guest. We have, have Miss Susan Long from Diving Unlimited International. Welcome. Hey, good morning. How are you today? Great, great. So tell us about Diving Unlimited. What is it that you do? And... and uh, Get us some more information. Well, Diving Unlimited is a diving equipment manufacturing company. We're located right here in San Diego. We've been here for 51 years. 51 years? 51 years. years. Wow. And actually, we go by the initials DUI. But okay. I have to tell you, we were DUI before DUI wasn't cool, okay? okay. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. <laughs> so so you do, uh, there's a lot of safety equipment, and, and, uh, and uh, give, us, give us the scope of what you do. Well, we, we manufacture dry suits and uh, for scuba diving. The majority of them are for scuba diving, and we service the uh, ser- serious recreational diver, uh, as well as technical divers that are pushing the envelope, diving deep into caves, uh, people diving in Antarctica, but we also service the people that are just want to be warmer when they're diving on their wonderful tropical vacation. In well, addition ha- to public safety divers, and we also manufacture for the military. Oh, inter- well, it's it's all fascinating. I see you've got a brochure here of about 40 different suits. Are they all dry suits? And what is a dry suit? All of these are dry suits, yes. And actually, a dry suit kind of acts as a raincoat. And you would have this, it's a thin outer layer, and it's designed to keep you dry. It's like in a raincoat, you can wear a raincoat in a summer storm with shorts and a t-shirt underneath, or you can layer underneath. And we do the same thing. So you can wear this dry suit that keeps you dry. As you know, you lose your body heat 25 times faster in water than you do in air. So you can wear it in an 80 degree. I was just diving last week in 80 degree, uh, 81 degree water uh, in the tropics, and I was using a dry suit with something really thin underneath. Or I could take it to Antarctica and layer underneath it and dive there too. I want your job. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, so tell me, you know, I'm, I've always been accustomed to. Um, this type of equipment, and I've always known it as wetsuits. What's the difference between a wetsuit and a dry suit? Well, as a wetsuit, it's made out of foam neoprene, and it allows and it, it allows the idea behind it is it brings water into the suit, and then your body warms up that water, and hopefully you don't have the water exchange. But the big problem with that is because of the water pressure. Uh, if you're in the ocean and it's a quarter inch on the surface at 33 feet, it's half that thickness, and usually it gets colder. So as you descend, the water continues to get colder, and your suit gets thinner and thinner and thinner. So it's not very effective at all. That's great. And, you know, I was telling a friend of mine uh, that we had you coming on air today, uh-huh. and the first question that she had was, you know, how do you deal with, do you, do you, you know, there's there's a uh, she's a scuba diver, so um, there's a lot of allergies uh, to some of the wetsuits or, or what have you out there. How do you deal with that? Perfect, because most of uh, our most popular materials are actually fabric that we make the dry suit out. It's super thin, and it's fabric. And then we also have silicone for seals. So if you have a neoprene or a latex allergy, no problem. We can take care of that. Mm. Plus, if it's a she, we make incredibly beautiful women's equipment. <laughs> oh. Yeah. yeah. So you stay warm I'm, and you look good. That's yeah. right. I'm all over that one. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, and uh, you're, doing, you're doing a lot of uh, work for... Um, uh, in the disabilities, uh, for people with disabilities, correct? Well, one of the things that we do better than anyone else on this planet is we make custom dry suits. And when we do that, we take your measurements and we can add different colors and accessories, which is really great. But when you have somebody with a disability, usually there's something special. And that could be where they might be missing a limb or they want to be able to use a prosthetic. Uh, a good example is I have a good friend of mine has Duchenne's muscular dystrophy. And he wanted to go scuba diving. It was his dream to go scuba diving. He's basically a quadriplegic. And he needed a dry suit to be able to do that. And so we made him a dry suit with a special pass-through in it uh, to be able to accommodate his ventilator hose. I also, uh, in in Europe, there's this really wonderful man, and his name is Torben, a little guy. He's been in a wheelchair, but he can. He wanted to be a scuba diver and actually a technical diver. And he, they, he was going through the training, and he needed a dry suit. And we were able to make him a special dry suit. And actually what we did is we built the dry suit kind of out of some scrap material first based on his measurements, sent it over to Europe, see if it would fit him before we did all of the special sealing and the waterproof zipper and all that, all the extra really expensive work. So we made sure it fit. Actually, it fit him really well, needed to do a couple of adjustments, and then we made him the final dry suit. Wow. You know, people might uh, be questioning, why would someone with a disability want to dive? It, it really is a freedom for them. 
it, it's a way of uh, the restrictions on land, especially if you have mobility challenge uh, down below the surface of the water, uh, the, the buoyancy and all just helps them. They, they feel more comfortable exercise mm-hmm. and therapy uh, purposes. And there's diving groups for the disabled all over the country as well. Completely. As many, uh, oh, I uh, never knew that. Uh, mm-hmm. There many, are many uh, commercial diving schools welcome the disabled to go there. Uh, you know, I know of a deaf divers group in, in Florida as an example, as well as we do have in San Diego, I believe, an amputee diving group. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Incredible. Well, yeah, there's also people in this world that just feel better when they're underwater. It just mm-hmm. gives them the freedom. And it's a whole other world. Yeah. I mean, you go out here in San Diego and you can interact with sea lions, mm-hmm. you know, it, and you never know what you're going to see. Well, and so I, I, I got to tell you a story. I, I just have to break <laughs> and tell you a story. They wanted me to go diving in, in a swimming pool first time and go down, and I lost all orientation. I couldn't tell what was up. Now, I'm total <laughs> blind. Yeah, I don't right, see anything. Right. Right. So I get up out of the water. I let go of the weight buckle, and, you know, I popped up. Yeah. And the fellow said, well, you just got to follow the bubbles. <laughs> oh no oh that's not very fair uh, and he wasn't joking he was serious oh, about no. it oh no. yes one of those uh-huh. uh, actually you know what you could do that in a dry suit because as you go a little bit deeper you feel the pressure the water on the outside of the suit so if you put your arm down you would know that you're deeper oh. and if you put your arm up because the air in the suit would raise up so you'd be able to feel it wow so I can hook you up there Urban. awesome yeah. awesome you're listening to Close Up on Sandy Good Business here on KCBQ streaming live at AM. 1170theanswer.com. Give us a tweet at CloseUpSD. Email me at Barry at CloseUpSanDiego.com or find our page on Facebook. We want to hear from you. I'm your host, Barry Waxler. Here on the co-host, Andrea Kay and Urban Miaris. And our guest is Susan Long from Diving Unlimited International. So, Susan, one of the things we talked about before we got on air is you have an event coming up here pretty soon. We do. We actually have a dry suit demo tour, and it goes around the country, and we kick it off this weekend in Catalina. And if you are a certified scuba diver, you can just bring your basic equipment and you can join us over there and you can test dive one of our total dry suit systems. We have over 120 suits ranging in for men and women from extra small to six extra large. And so we can fit you. Wow. Wow. And it's an amazing opportunity to to try it out. Yes, because a lot of people have never tried diving dry. They just don't know what they're missing. They go diving, especially here in San Diego or Southern California. It might be a balmy 65 degrees on the surface, but it's 50 degrees at depth. And so those are the people that jump in, swim really fast and jump out, and then they freeze and they go, okay, I'll I'll go diving again because I just got to get underwater. But you know what? You don't have to do that. There's so much better ways to do it. Yeah, and it does ruin a a good dive. You know, I know that freezing and you know you're trying to enjoy yourself but it's so distracting yeah. and it's it, yeah. and women also uh, feel the cold much faster than men so as we're all sitting here in the room we'd all get colder uh, at different at different rates it depends on what your act level of activity that you're mm-hmm. doing if you're swimming around you expend a lot more it's so energy and you'll stay warmer but especially women we get colder mm-hmm. faster and uh so that's one reason i think actually all women divers should be diving dry no matter where you're at yeah. i agree and you do a lot of uh work for the military too don't you? we do we do uh, all the helicopter rescue swimmers for the u.s car coast guard wear our suits uh in fact uh, andrea and i were talking before you know the movie the um the guardian the guardian with ashton kutcher and kevin costner mm-hmm. it was really cool all those are our suits. Um, when they want suits that are real, then they come to DUI. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we also make uh, suits for the Navy EOD when they're doing their mine sweeping. Uh, so we make those suits and they're non-magnetic. We make suits for the Army. Uh, we also export to friendly militaries, uh, can, uh, including the Danish and the Belgian MOD, uh, Germany, the Polish, uh, the Polish Grom. Those are like mm. the really heavy duty guys. So yeah. <laughs> now, have you always manufactured here in San Diego? We have. We're really proud of that. We manufacture all of our dry suits right here in San Diego, which working with the military is a very good thing. Homeland Security security is not they're not as conscientious of it uh, but for the Department of Defense they like to have things that are made here in the USA great well we're starting to run short on time for the interview but um, why don't you tell our listeners number one how do they find out more information about you and more importantly than that let's talk about that uh, how they find more about the event you're putting on okay well they can come and visit us on our website at DUI 
dui-online.com. Uh, we also have a big Facebook page, which is dui.diver. Uh, so we're always posting fun things in there. Uh, but come to our website. And if you know what, we love talking to divers. Uh, although most of our equipment is sold through dive retailers, come on and contact us. And we'd be happy to help you and figure out what's the best dry suit for you. Yay. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Neat. Last question real quick. How old were you when you first went, got certified and first started diving? Well, you know, it's funny. I got certified at 18 and I didn't like it. It was cold. It was wet. It was I'm going to tell your dad. You said uh, no, that. he knows that. He knows that. But and then I tried diving another uh, 10 years later, and then I fell in love with it. Awesome. And so what, if you, that's why it's so important how you learn and having the right equipment will give you the best experience. Because having a good experience will just keep it going. Dive, dive dry. Hey, that's the only dive, way to go. Dive yeah. dry. Great. Well, thanks for being with us. We look forward to the carrying the story mine. on. Thank you so much. Great. Uh, this is Close Up on San Diego Business here on KCBQ, streaming live on the web at am1170theanswer.com. Send us a tweet at Close Up SD or just find our page on Facebook, and you can always email me at Barry at Let me know what you think. I'm your host, Barry Waxler. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsors.